at a housing conference in a county just south of here. And I said, look, we need to get beyond the Civil War. I tell them there are good things about history from the white side, good things about history and culture from the black side. People love to come into this part of the state to see that. I said, I tell them we need to make the most of it, and if we work together, we can do that. Do you believe, as a, a principle, do you believe black people in power can make or have the ability, uh, can make race-based discriminatory decisions? I'm sure that can happen. I can tell you I didn't do it. Okay, that was my follow-up. And you could ask, you could go to any of the communities that I worked with, and if the staff were, were free to tell you, you could talk to any of the people I've worked with since I've been at USDA, and they can tell you what my record is. Uh, Shirley, stay right there. Uh, I have someone who wants to speak to this, this whole controversy. Her name is Eloise Spooner. She is, uh, wow, uh, Roger Spooner's uh, wife, uh, widow at this point. Yes. Widow at this point. Yes. Eloise, thanks for taking the time to talk to me. Okay. Uh, what do you think of this whole controversy? First of all, what do you think of, of Shirley? She's a good friend. Describe your relationship with her through the years. She helped us save our farm. How did she do that? By getting in there and doing all she could do to help us. What did your husband think, uh, your late husband think of Shirley? He's not dead. He's very much alive. Really? Yes, he is. He's 87. And he's on this Peterbilt truck this morning. Then I apologize for that. Uh, right. I've, got, I've got incorrect information from one of the newspapers writing on this. I apologize for that. Okay, it's all right. Uh, is he aware of this controversy swirling around uh, yes, in your family? Our, our son, uh, he came up this morning and says, Mama, turn on the TV to CNN. And he said, it says about your farm. And he said, Sherry Sherrod. And I said, what? And we listened, and I said, great, Dave, that ain't right. They have not treated her right. Oh, she did. She, she's the one I give credit to helping us save our farm. Let's see. Uh, some of the story here is that you met in the 80s. It was a bad time. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I, I see that. It was, uh, it was a bad time in the family's it life was. at the time. Uh, tell me why you were in trouble with the farm. Well, we'd had a lot of dry weather, and we had to run the irrigation a lot. And just, when you'd make a good crop, you wouldn't get a good price. And just a number of things together caused it. And Do you remember your first, you remember your first interaction with Shirley? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, yeah, I, I first looked in the... Uh, it was the market bulletin from Atlanta that we get. We've got it for years and years and years. And it said if you was having trouble, you're about to lose your farm to get with them. Mm -hmm. And uh, I said, by George, I'm going to try that. So I did, and he told me, to, told us to go see a lawyer in Cairo. Well, he said, y'all might as well just go ahead and do what Diane said to do. And I was so mad when we came home. And uh, so... Anyway, a few weeks later, the guy from Atlanta, the market bulletin, he called and he said, what happened over in Cairo? I said, exactly nothing. He didn't help us at all. He said, well, I'm going to get you with somebody that will help you, I think. And that's when he told us to, he called us, told us to call Shirley. And we did, and we started right then. She, she said, there's two lawyers. There's a, there's a black lawyer. And there's a white lawyer. And one, one, the black lawyer's in Albany, and the white lawyer's in America, and you choose the one you want. So I said, well, he's in Albany, he's closer, so maybe we'll just try him, the black one. And 
we went to him for months and months and months and paid him some money, which was hard to scrape up. And uh, he finally, he got with a lawyer in, in, in Donaldsonville that I had talked to. And he called and told me, the, one, the lawyer in Albany called and told me that he could not handle our, us anymore, that he had this uh, client that he had had for 10 years, and he was going to have to spend a lot of time on that. He couldn't, couldn't help us. Yeah. Hey, so, hey, Eloise, let me, a couple of other quick questions here. Okay. About this relationship. I'm just trying to establish uh, this relationship. Uh, explain to me, I've got a line here that said, that says that you guys picked a bunch of tomatoes? Yeah, I, one year, I, it's after things kind of settled down, I had a really pretty garden that year, and we were going up to Albany for some reason, and uh, so I told Roger I was going to pick Shirley some tomatoes, and I did. And we carried them by tour and had a good visit. You know, what do you think of the statement that's on the tape? It's, um, you know, it's undeniable. It is there where Shirley essentially says, um, so I didn't give him the full force of what I could do. Well, she gave enough that it helped us save our farm. All right. And she went two trips when she... After the lawyer in Albany did us like he did, well, then I called Shirley and told her, and she said, you're kidding me. I said, no, I'm not. That's the words he told me. She mm. said, well, you want us to try the one in America, in Easterland? I said, yes, get us an appointment, and we'll sure be ready to go. Uh, Eloise, thank you. Thank you for your time. Shirley, I've got, uh, Eloise, thank you. Uh, mm? That's, um... All right. Uh, Please tell her I want to. No, go can ahead, you, I don't know that she can hear me, but I haven't talked to her in years. And I'm so happy to hear that both of them are still living. And, Miss Spooner, I definitely want to contact you. Okay. What time we heard about It's we tried, great. To, we got the book and tried to call you, but Roger couldn't get a hold of you. I hate Oh, it. okay. Maybe you can get yeah. it. Yeah, right, we will make the we will make the connection. How's that? We will we will make that happen. Thank right? you so okay. much. It is so great to hear your voice. And and uh, Shirley, uh, thanks to you. Thanks mm -hmm. thanks for your time and a fuller explanation okay. of, of your comments. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Uh, Shirley's story has a lot of people talking, obviously, about race, power, politics. And